Hi. Hi. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be discussing something that came up in like my career relatively recently and you know got me, you know, really interested into this topic. For instance, what it means to be able to communicate and how you can make your team happier in the way you communicate. So in this, you know, video, I'm gonna be like breaking that down, making it sure, you know, you communicate clear and you get your message across. So the first thing I wanna talk about is Qual es el problema? What that means is, what is the problem? So recently I learned the difference between qual and que, and trust me, there's some relevance here. So, you know, just listen. So que is supposed to be used when you want to know the different definition of something. And definition can be very broad. So you, you can have multiple definition for a word, right? Qua is, you know, on the opposite of that. So qua is used to get specific information. And qua actually means which in Spanish. So when I say, ¿Cuál es tu número? What is your number? I want to know which number is yours. Not out of millions of numbers out there. I want to know specifically your number and your number only. So when you bring in things to like engineers, you want to tell them specifically what is the problem and what things that you actually done so far. So they don't have like a broad net that they can possibly, you know, send out. Or like, do you check the logs? Do you check the stack trays? and you know so on so from there they can dive even deeper and see if there's you know any nuances to your problem and how they can resolve that for you knowing your problem is very important i can probably even go into details like how you can like resolve a lot of problems with like coding in this particular video i'm going to just focus on communicating and knowing exactly how to drill down your problem so you can you know communicate better to other engineers so they can help you out because you know two heads three heads four heads is better than one the next thing i want to talk about is honesty and being unambiguous you might get questions like how long would this build take are there other solutions available why are the updates for user story one two three these questions usually stem from a project manager or a scrum leader wheelhouse and if you answer in questions like i don't know there might be it's going well no blockers that leads the team to believe that you're zoning out or you're not doing your work it's just uh sometimes a perception sometimes sometimes in either of those cases you're perceived as being unreliable because you're not being very specific in the details and then when the time comes to say what your work is being done and it's not getting done they're just gonna like you know attack on that that notion that you're not being able to say you're doing something when you're getting stuff done so just give an example the best way to answer those questions for instance for question number one let me solution out the story and i'll get back to you within an hour or this afternoon question number two you can answer it like this i haven't seen other solutions but let me see if the internal team will have any feedback on this problem but if you know they don't come back within this afternoon this is probably our best option and answer for question number three i finished the functionality of ac one two and three but I'm finalizing AC4. I'm looking at being done, workbook, and committed to source by tomorrow morning. So PMs love like these time estimates because you know they can always get back to the customer of like you know any constraints or any delays if something happens. I you know started to see where these questions came from and how they were stemming from like their perspective i changed up my communication to like use time steps and stuff and that gives them like a hope like hope alive that you know this might be where it might be done because anytime in software there could definitely be things that come up where you know a certain complexity or something that wasn't looked at or thought about when implementing or building out the software functionality it can you know increase the the scope of it anything being relatively close not actually close close because sometimes it's not even a thing to be like accurate 100 percent all the time so the last thing to better your communication skills is being respectful the most important part of working and thriving with others is having a non-hostile and positive environment with that positivity and non-hostility you have you know realms of 
open communication and transparency and, you know, creativity that thrives in that environment. That's why, you know, being respectful is very important. And there's so many different ways of being respectful and communication wise. Here's like a couple of them. For instance, you know, listening to other ideals and, you know, giving them constructive feedback. So when you say something is not going to work, you tell them, you know, the details of why it's not going to work. You lay it out for them. They, in that respect, will be, you know, understanding that they've been heard and that, oh, they didn't really think about it in that particular aspect. Listen to others' ideals is very important to any team, even if you're a senior level or junior level. It's, I think is you know, a back and forth transaction here. It could be something that a senior level didn't really think about. And at the same time, junior, uh, senior level can use that as a mentor opportunity to, you know, bring up a junior developer up and learn the best practice in software architecture and so on. And so the other thing I wanted to say is, you know, say thank you. I actually talked about this in one of my podcasts is, is that how far two words can go and saying thank you can just like, you know, help someone out and it's like, notice that they've been recognized and stuff like that i think acknowledgement and stuff like that is very important but even saying thank you for just like some of the simplest tasks can be very helpful and i got that from one of the one of my bosses back in the past that i was working with and he was like you can go really far if you say thank you in this career in this industry um people like acknowledgement they want to know that their work matters and they're being impactful so saying thank you indicates that and shows that that their work is you know appreciated so um uh, and the last thing i would like to say is you know don't be condescending um, uh, that's probably pretty self-exploratory, but you know, you definitely got so many different situations here. I can do so many memes on the different things that I heard is like, Hey, do you Google it? And then, Oh, another one I heard is like, Oh, I did a quick Google search. Just found the answer. There you go. Of course, I appreciate that. But at the same time, it's like, geez, the tone and the brashness and like, you know, it, it, can, it I feel like it can be done in different ways. Like, for instance, it's like, oh, well, let's, you know, let's see if we can, you know, search this up and see if we can find something. Maybe that person is just not a school Googler and maybe it's just a junior dev. I don't know. So many different things. Maybe he was just off his game that day. Uh, that's me sometimes. I just don't Google the right terms and I didn't find the specific article that says this because I didn't Google the right term. It happens more often than you think. But at the end of the day, so if we choose every single moment as a learning opportunity for others, then you know you get more motivated and people who want to do the work because they're not working in a hostile and negative environment. You know, like the more you give that, the less turnover like you have in this career because Either it's the management or it's the team or it's just the overall picture of that dynamic. That's my thoughts on, you know, improving your communication with others of your software team. And hopefully that helps. This is the end of this video. I hope you like that video. You know, hit a like, hit a share, hit a subscribe. You know, give me some feedback of what you guys think will improve your communication with a software team. Until next time, peace. Mm -hmm.